Hi, in this video we'd like to talk about another common type of miscarriage that happens during the first trimester known as blighted ovum. Now, blighted ovum, clinically we call it an M embryonic pregnancy. So this is usually diagnosed when we do an ultrasound of the pregnancy during week 5, week 6. Uh, usually this is quite early, but when we look at the ultrasound, we see a uh, gestational sac, but there is no presence of embryo inside, no fetal core, which means this gestational sac is empty, it just looks like this, empty sac. By right, there should be something in there, which is the embryo, the fetal pole, but uh, this is how we diagnose them, basically looking at an empty gestational sac. And then sometimes we tell our patients that maybe you come back a week later, or two weeks later, because sometimes maybe we've got your pregnancy week wrong, it's far, far too early, and then uh, you come back a week again, let's check again, and we, we still see an empty sac, and it's basically a confirmed to be a blighted ovum. This is already fetal death, there was no pregnancy uh, that's uh, developing, and then we will need to proceed with uh, a management to help remove the pregnancy tissue, go into uh, uh, management of abortions to help the patient uh, to re recover from this uh, uh, pregnancy loss. So. Uh, there are many theories and uh, studies that are being done to actually understand why blighted ovums happen. We still don't really have a clear idea and many people suggest that it is due to chromosomal abnormality. Uh, we, uh, uh, we cannot say for sure but there have been several studies that show that uh, couples who have healthy chromosomes, so before pregnancy they were already genetically screened to have no defects, no abnormalities in their chromosomes, but they still do end up developing a blighted ovum nonetheless. So we believe that chromosomal abnormality cannot explain all blighted ovums. It may explain some of them. Here at the hospital, in our history, when we deal with patients with blighted ovums over the past 20 years, uh, we've realized that they share a very distinct uh, root cause, which is very low levels of estrogen. We believe that this low estrogen is actually what's causing this blighted ovum because estrogen actually helps uh, play a very key role in developing blood vessels, actually uh, kick-starting the process of embryogenesis and also the development of the limbs, the organs of the baby, all depend on estrogen. And these patients have low levels of estrogen. So we believe that the root cause is actually a hormonal imbalance internally within the mother. So how do we actually treat blighted ovum is that for patients who have a history of blighted ovum, we will normally prescribe them DHEA, a very common medication. And when prescribed DHEA orally, this medicine can actually metabolize within the mother's body into estrogen, thus bringing up the estrogen levels. And then a lot of them do go on to actually uh, develop full-term healthy pregnancies. But we cannot guarantee that it may work for everybody because uh, blighted ovum is still yet a poorly understood subject but it does work very well in our history and it's definitely worth a shot if you'd like to uh, consider a full-term healthy pregnancies and also if you have a history of these blighted ovums. And the hospital offers this treatment for patients suffering from these types of miscarriage. If you'd like to receive our treatment, receive our consultation, please visit the website and also leave me a comment down below.